Variables, collecting user input and storing as a data type for later use. A variable is a value used in programming for a value that will change based on user input or other calculations. Since we cannot predict the possibilities of what users could enter into a program, we create a word to represent and store the input that a user could possibly enter. In order to create a word to use as a variable, we must conduct a variable declaration. And so that's what we're going to look at first, this notion of variable declaration. So when a variable is declared, it is conducted at the beginning of code. Now that might be right at the top of your script, or it could be in the subsection related to where the actual variable is going to be used. Okay, but obviously within the script, within the program. Variables can be named anything by a programmer, okay? There would be some boundaries on certain symbols you could use, and you can't use words that are already reserved as functions, but there is a lot of discretion at the programmer's end on what they name a variable. But obviously, it's good intrinsic documentational practice that we use relevant names for our variables. So if I'm gonna be st storing a user name within my program, probably best that I call that variable either name or username or user one name, something that is relevant so that it's easier for me to remember when I need to recall that variable later on. And it makes logical sense within my documentation, especially if I'm working with a team as well on a specific program, so they understand what my variables are there for as well. So we'll take a look at some examples of variable declaration in different coding languages. So firstly in Python, okay, here's me declaring the variable name. And the way I've structured it here is I've said name equals input, which means the user is going to enter it. It's going to ask the user to enter in the input for the user name. But what's going to appear on screen is the question, what is your name? So they'll see that and then after they'll have their chance to write their name and that will be stored on my system as name and whatever they enter will be recorded as that. So I can recall name later on and it'll bring up whatever name they entered into the system. The next programming language we look at is C++ and here I've got int count equals zero. Now that int stands for integer. So I've declared its data type there. And basically I've started the count at zero. So that is obviously my starting point for count. But as said, calculations will also change a variable. So I might have later on in my program that count will increase. It could go up by one every time the user clicks on something, or it could be a points based system in a game that it goes up by 10 or 15 points by satisfying different rules within my program. But at the beginning of my program, count is going to be set as zero okay and that's so that's the starting point but count will likely change throughout my program so based on those other calculations the final language you look at is visual basic and in visual basic we use the dim command to declare a variable so i've got dim answer as boolean now a boolean can only exist in one or two states true or false on or off and i might be aligning this with the use of a checkbox or radio button something where it can only be in two states okay but as you can see there I've declared that variable as a certain data type there too. So that brings me to my final point that a variable's data type should also be established in variable declaration so that the program knows what type of data to expect and how to process it. Now, not all programming languages are equal at this level. Python is pretty smart and it can sometimes detect that it's an integer that the uh, program wants or that it's expecting from a user without it being declared. But it's good practice to insert in there that we're saying that this uh, store the variable as an integer or as a string or as a Boolean, okay? As you can see on these examples here, so the program knows what to do with that data, okay? Unless the variable is declared as an integer or real number in some cases, and this would be an example in Visual Basic, a program won't be able to use it for calculations because they'll just see those numbers as string text, not as a specific integer value because they're not stored as an integer value and thus it can't conduct calculations with them. Okay. The other thing that may be declared is variables might be assigned to objects, especially in object oriented programming environments or integrated development environments such as Visual Studio. So in that we might say that a certain text box dot text, okay, will equal a variable. So that means that when a user enters their name into that text box, it will be assigned to that variable once they click submit. So we can assign using assignment statements, okay, variables to specific on-screen objects such as text box, drop-down boxes, list boxes, okay, and whatever they enter into those actual screen objects will then be stored as the variable there based on the different GUI elements. So I hope this video has given you an understanding of the use of variables, how we create reserved words that will be used to store either user input or the results of calculations or specific numbers that we want to assign as starting points within our program. We can name them whatever we want, but it's best we give them relevant names so that they're easy for us to remember and make good intrinsic documentation when creating our programs.